First, if you are considering dental work, look no further. Dr. John Chow offers services that could be beneficial for you. Dr. Chow, it is so good to have you on Great Day SA this morning. How are you doing? Fine. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. And you are an expert and actually the inventor of pinhole gum rejuvenation. I know a lot of people are more concerned these days about their dental health and overall gum health as well. But tell me what the benefit of this procedure is. Well, the benefit of this procedure is it uh, corrects receiving gums in a way that's un unconventional, that's not conventional the way it is uh, done, which is grafting. You take some uh, tissue from the roof of the mouth and then you put it where you need it. But with pinhole gum rejuvenation, there's no stitching, there's no cutting. We basically lift the gums through some tiny pinholes and then put the gums where it belongs and it stays there. So it's a totally different approach to correcting gum recession. How do you know if your gums are starting to recede enough to where you need to address it? Well, uh, most of the time you can tell with the one tooth on one side is longer than the other. There are some roots showing and sometimes uh, there'll be cold sensitivity or even sensitivity to brushing. And so you can tell that the gums are receding in that way. Of course, your dentist can tell you whether it's above the borderline or not. And what's the danger of letting your gums continue to recede if they're already in that process? Well, as, as the gums recede, you also lose supporting bone underneath. So as it continues, it jeopardizes the longevity of the tooth, besides exposing it to decay and be uncomfortable with it with the sensitivity part. But the most important part that hits people is that it doesn't look good. Why is it so important for people to consider their gum health? And why is this procedure um, such an incredible discovery or invention? Well, conventionally, and uh, according to old, uh, older uh, uh, procedures, you have to take a piece of tissue from somewhere else in the mouth, such as from the palate, and it's transported to where the gums has receded, and then stitch it. The, uh, the, uh, the site where you get the graft is the site where it bothers the people the most. And it, it's, like, um, it's like you have a third degree burn from a, from a pizza. And so most people don't do well with such a, um, a procedure, especially on the palate. And so, so this procedure that I've invented, the pinhole gum rejuvenation technique, that avoids, avoids uh, the, uh, uh, the procedure where you have to do any cutting at all. So there's no cutting and there's no stitching. Once the gum line is down to the right place, it looks like, it looks like it's normal again when the patient leaves. So it's quick and it's easy. And that's the big difference. It's not drastic. There's no um, invasiveness to this procedure, except in the sense that you're, you're moving the tissue through tiny little pinholes. So the downtime is almost none. How can people get in touch with you? Is it better to call you or um, register online? Uh, they can go to our website, pinholegumrejuvenation.com, for information that will tell them uh, which dentists are certified to do pinhole gum rejuvenation. And if you're a dentist, you want training for pinhole gum rejuvenation, then you can also find the same information on the same website, pinholegumrejuvenation.com.